assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the red subscribe button and subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos as you guys know that we are working on odo 16 technical course so in the previous videos we have added uh, some customization using the odo debug mode but in this video we are going to create a custom module and we will add those customization using a custom add-on okay so if we go to the sales module and uh, then the products menu products and open uh, any product so let me search for the computer that we have added so here we have added a custom field which is processor and uh, in this video we are going to create a custom module and then we will add this custom field processor in this uh, product model okay so first of all let me open the py charm so inside the py charm uh, in the previous video we have uh, created uh, a custom add-ons directory and then inside the custom add-ons directory we have created a custom add-on with the name odo od underscore open academy using the command so uh, you can just use that command to create any custom add-ons uh, but uh, in this video we are just going to create it from the uh, uh, scratch so that you can uh, understand both of the ways okay so here uh, you need to understand that uh, first of all you need to understand that which modules you want to customize okay so inside the Udo uh, default add-ons there are different modules that has been developed so each module have some specific features so uh, you need to find out that uh, the customization that we need is in which module so i will explain in this video that how you can find it out so uh, first of all you need to activate the debug mode which we already know that how we can activate the debug mode and then you will be able to see this uh, icon okay and then uh, what we need uh, to do so what is the requirement so the requirement is to add this field in this product of uh, form you so first of all let me just remove this field from this uh, and then we will add it again through the custom add-on okay we have removed it okay this is it and if i refresh it it will not be there okay so let's just wait to reload it so it is gone so in uh, so we are going to add this field in this uh, view so for this purpose first of all we need to add the field in the model as we have discussed already using the debug mode that we need to add the field first in the uh, uh, model so how we can find the model you can find the model name uh, from here like from the uh, link so uh, and then we need to search this model in the uh, technical okay so we need to go to the settings and then we need to uh, go to the technical and at the bottom here we need to scroll down uh, to go to the models here and then search this model a uh, product dot template so this is the model that we are uh, looking for so here we need to add the field so first of all we need to find the module name so here you can see the model a uh, description is a uh, product and uh, this is actually the name of the uh, product so this is the base and where it is actually defined so it is actually uh, defined in these modules so we need to find the base like where it is actually from where it is actually coming so it is actually coming from the product uh, module so let me just uh, show you how you can do it you need to copy this and then you need to go to the uh, add-ons and here you need to uh, click this find in uh, files okay and then uh, search this one okay so uh, here you need to change this to py let me just increase the screen size like this and then this okay sorry uh, so find in files like this so here uh, this is the model name and uh, how you define the model name so you need to add uh, underscore name is equal to and then uh, this one so here you can see it is defined in multiple uh, modules so the first definition should be inside the product if you go here so here you can see this is actually defined inside the product mod model 
so we need to create the custom add-in with the name of product so let me just create it we need to right click here and then we need to create uh, the directory which is od you can add any extension and then you need to add the name of the module which we want to inherit so it should be a product and inside this module uh, we need to add some uh, python uh, files so the first important file is uh, manifest so you need to add the manifest file like uh, you need to add uh, double underscore and then the manifest then double underscore and then uh, py so py we added automatically because this is a python file so just add a cancel so this is it we have um, added this file and here we need to uh, add some information related to the module so we need to define the dictionary which is at the python uh, basic thing you need to understand and we need to define the name of this module which will appear in the app list so it is uh, like product extension you can say or uh, you can say product customization and then we need to use uh, define the version of this module so like if this module is for Udo 16 so you need to add something like 16.0.1 okay and then it will increment as you add the improvements and then you need to add the other name so who is the developer of this module you can say uh you know, my name and here you need to you can add some other uh, things like website okay so you can add something like www.photodiscussions.com and then you can add uh, uh, depends so i will uh, discuss this in a bit and then we need to add data which you don't will not which you will not understand right now and then we need to add installable installable is uh, mandatory you need to add it and then it should be true okay installable uh, we have a uh, made some mistake installable like this installable true means that you want to make it installable so if you make it false you will not be able to install this module so inside that depends you need to add the module name which you want to inherit like in this case we want to inherit the product module so you need to add uh, the product uh, module name here like this so the features that we want to inherit is uh, are the feature that we want to add is in the product module so this is it and then the next thing that you need to add is uh, the init file which is also the python file so you need to add the un double underscore and then init and then double underscore and then hit enter so it is added like this and then you need to add one folder so like in the previous video uh, understanding module odo module structure so we discussed what is the structure of the module so you need you have one directive which is model so inside the models you have all the business related data like the business models uh, the classes of the database and all the fields related things and all the methods uh, that you want to define should be inside the uh, models directory so let me create a new directory with the name models and then inside this directory we need to add uh, the init file so what is the purpose of init file init file is used to load the python files uh, to take the effect so init and then a double underscore so this is added and then here we need to add the actual python file that uh, where we need to add the logic okay so let me just uh, add a new python file so the python file name should be the same like which you want to customize so uh, we want to customize the product model so it should be something like product okay and then py uh, is uh, will be added automatically because this is the python file okay this is it and uh, then uh, you need to import this py like this uh, product that py inside this init file uh, import uh, product dot py okay this is uh, in the import you don't need to define dot py and then we need to uh, import this models directly inside this external in init file so from dot import uh, models 
you need to define it like this okay so this has been added now we can install this module in uh odoo from the odoo apps so let me just uh restart odoo service and then uh we will uh, go to odoo apps and then uh we need so the first step is to update the app list okay and then uh, we need to add od um, product what is the module name which we have added so we need to remove this filter so you can see it uh, is installable so let me just uh, add installable false okay and then uh, refresh it okay update the app list like this refresh the browser okay uh, od product this is it so uh, if uh, like it is already added so let me just delete it like this and then update the app list So here you can see you don't uh, you you don't see the install button. This is because we have made it installable uh, false. So we need to make it installable true in order to install the module. Okay. So uh, let me just uh, update the update this app list again, and then we need to refresh uh, the page. okay we, we can see this install button so this is how this installable parameter is important so uh, then insert the models and then uh, product.py so here you need to add uh, import some of the Udo, uh, in like Udo files uh, Udo packages so first important thing is to import Udo. Uh, so from Udo import models uh, you need to import models and then fields okay these are important things that you need to do so uh, inside the models uh, all the basic orm uh, structure is defined and inside the fields we have, we have all different type of fields like char fields uh, uh, integer fields float fields boolean fields so uh, we will discuss in the upcoming videos so this is it and then we need to inherit this uh, model which is product dot uh, a template let me go here so the model is product our template so in order to do so first of all we need to use class uh, and then we need to add the name which is product template and then here we need to add models dot model okay and then a colon and then here we need to use the inherit keyword uh, in order to inherit uh, the model and then equal to and then a uh, column a uh, single quote or double quote and then you need to uh, add the name of the model which is a uh, product template product dot template this is it we have inherited this uh, model and inside this model we need to add the uh, field uh, same like we have added uh, uh, from the debug mode so like let me show you if you go to the technical settings and then models and here we need to search for product dot product sorry product dot template let me open it show all the fields and then at the bottom you will see a uh, x processor okay let me go this is the field that we have added using the debug mode so let me just uh, remove this field and then uh, we will add it again so let me save it cannot remove the field receiving so this is actually available in one of the search view so therefore we cannot delete it we need to remove it from the search view so uh, i don't want to waste uh, your time so i will add a field with a new uh, name so let me just add a field uh, processor 
so one thing you need to keep in mind is when you add a field to the model using the debug mode uh, you you must need to add x so x will be added by default because it is you are adding it from the debug mode or developer mode but if you add it from the uh, like from this uh, custom module so you don't need to add x underscore okay processor is equal to fees dot char and then here you need to define string of this field so we can say like processor or we can make it something different computer processor and here you can define all those parameters that we can add uh, here uh, from this uh, view same like uh, storable and uh, read only required so we will discuss this uh, in the upcoming videos okay and then uh, you can add this help also uh, same like we have added in uh, from the debug mode okay so i just want to add this one parameter like string this is it and then me uh, let me just restart Odoo service and then uh, we will uh, uh, install the module okay just uh, go here apps and then od product just click the activate button to install this module so that once the module installed no module product okay what error we have got here product okay so here we have added uh, let me just show what is the problem here product no module product okay let me just show in here product it should be added like this okay so here we need to add uh, from dot import product like this this correct so let me restart Odoo service and then let me try to install this module okay click activate button so the module is going to install and we have got another error message um, which is this one the name attribute will not valid okay so let me just check the error so uh go to py charm and then go to so here we have made a mistake it is inherit or it okay and let me just start over service and then go here activate the module so i hope so it will install this time successfully okay so after the module is installed i will show you how the module has been added okay uh, go to settings and then uh, go to models from here to see if the module has been added uh, open search the model which is product or template uh, this is the template and then go to uh, open all the modules models uh, oh, sorry all the fields so scroll down to the bottom and here you can see okay where is processor should be something here let me search processor so there here is the field that we have added and if you go to the miscellaneous you will see that uh, the field has been defined in od product module which is our custom module uh, let me just show you this is the od product module so this is how you can add a field inside the model and in the next video we will uh, discuss how to add this field in this form view and uh, we will also show you how to uh, inherit uh, this view so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you